Hello dear friends, let's talk about problems of Ford Focus. Ford Focus, third generation, used a wide range of drive units, but customers limited their choice to a few. It is also difficult to get a 2-liter diesel because it was expensive. The smaller 1.6 TDCI diesel engines, whose power range starts from 95 HP over 105 to 115 HP at the top, are definitely more popular. Both diesel engines were created together with the PCA group and, if not exactly identical, to those installed in the Citroën and Peugeot. For petrol engines, the offer starts at 1.6 Duratic with 105 or 125 HP and an alternative to it in the form of a liter 3-cylinder EcoBoost with a turbocharger with producers uh, which produce 100 or 125 HP. The most dynamic focus on offer was not counting the ST variant, the 1.6 EcoBoost version, making 150 or 182 HP. Under the hood of the Focus ST is a 2.0 EcoBoost engine with 250 HP. For people who buy a car over 200 1000 uh, kilometers, the 1.6 Duratic durable petrol engine is recommended. It's a safe choice. The engine can be repaired cheaply and there is no fear of a technique that a typical workshop might not do. The design developed in collaboration with Yamaha has variable TIE VCT timing, but this system causes no problems. In the naturally aspirated version, direct injection was not used. It is worth remembering that you should check the valve clearance and change the timing belt every 160,000 km. With the timing belt also change the water pump. Their possible malfunction is gas, manifested by unstable engine operation. Sometimes it is possible to clean the throttle and if that does not help, it is necess necessary to change it. The Radix successor is EcoBoost. The engine is the same volume, but turbocharging and direct injection completely changed the face of the engine. Not only is the EcoBoost engine dynamic, it can also be economical. In the 182 horse version, the Focus becomes a GT-class car, of course, among the compact. However, the 150 ho horsepower version is very comfortable and has good flexibility. It produces 20, 270 Nm at 1600 rpm. The least common is the Focus 2.0, EcoBoost engine built in the ST version. It uses the chain as a drive to increase reliability. This engine has problems. Failure, failures of the valve opening control mechanism. There are also problems with the turbine, solenoid, valve and the turbine itself. For all the above problems, the check engine warning light comes on and a power loss is noticeable. You should be careful with 1.0 EcoBoost engine. It is very reliable and in principle does not cause any problem, except for sporadic sensor failures or problems with the engine management software. When the mileage exceeds 200,000 km, you have to recon with potential problems, which is simply the result of engine wear. Sometimes there is a problem with coolant leaking from the coolant tank pipe. Whoever ignored the malfunction could later have a problem with engine burnout. In addition, the 1.0 engine, liter engine has problems with oil leaks. An interesting technician, uh, technical 
solution of these engines, the drive belt works in an oil bath. Every 60 km the manufacturer recommends replacing the spark plugs. But the way the Focus with a 1.0 liter engine with 100 HP is honestly weak. This is especially felt when driving with a full trunk or air conditioning. When choosing between gasoline, naturally aspirated and turbocharged engines, one should first keep track of the model's history. We recommend Duretic for cars with no service history and those with higher mileage. With EcoBoost it is best to have a full service history and a mileage of no more than 140-160 thousand kilometers. It is important to remember to change EcoBoost's oil with one recommended by the manufacturer. As for the diesel engine, of course the best is the 2 liter, no matter which variant. The engine is flawless and should be quiet over 300,000 km without much trouble. The DPA filter usually causes a problem. It is easier to buy a 1.6 TDCI. In his case, we do not recommend the 95 horsepower version, which does not provide adequate dynamics for the car, unless you plan to drive quietly and mostly around town. The remaining 105 and 115 horsepower versions are suitable for everyday driving and have low fuel consumption, but do not expect performance from them. They do a great job both on the road, fine flexibility and in the city, but unfortunately they struggle with clogged DPF filters. You can try regeneration and try to find a replacement. Ford Focus 3rd gener generation does not like modifying electronics and even being illegal. And even being legal. The fuel filter can cause problems, especially in winter. Ford Focus 3rd generation with 1.6 diesel, it easily exceeds 200,000 km without fail. Code 1.0 EcoBoost petrol engines Early failures of the turbocharger can be avoided with proper cooling after driving under increased load. With 1.6 TDCI engine, diesel engines, some owners complain about engine failure during acceleration. The cause is most often hidden in a closed or damaged EGR valve. Some owners report problems with the electronics that control the engine. The problems are seen as sudden loss of power, failure to respond, warning lights, problems with restarting the vehicle and the problems disappear. Occasionally a radio or power window failure may occur. In older cars the interior elements usually make a lot of noise. The chassis can withstand 100,000 km. Then you need to replace the stabilizers and sometimes the shoulders, especially the back. The advice is to approach the problem comprehensively and replace your shoulders in pairs and check the geometry of the ladder after each such repair. Ford Focus 3rd generation corrosion should be sought primarily on the chassis. Her lever, a level, however, does not belong to one that may be of concern. Increased number of floating flywheel and clutch failures in all engine versions. The problem is the distinct trembling and the sound of a metal rattle at idle during acceleration and driving at low revs. After replacing the complete set, update the engine computer software for models with a diesel engine, thus reducing the load on the vehicle's drive elements. Problem with the hydraulic clutch cylinder leakage result in the lubrication of the blade and thus the clutch sliding. 
with power shift automatic transmissions, there are clutches, clutch failures, so beware of vibrations. In older versions, more owner complain about the poor quality of the interior elements and the assembly of the elements poorly fastened creaking. Different versions of the engine have problems with the start and stop system, which is why the problem is most often in the faulty sensor. With the multimedia system, there are common problems with USB flash recognition. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are the owner of this car, then share your experience. It will help others to choose a car. Goodbye.